in an audacious move that sends shockwaves through the corridors of global finance, India and the United Arab Emirates have audaciously turned their backs on the long-reigning supremacy of the U.S. dollar, opting instead for the Indian rupee in their latest oil trade deal. This bold defiance not only throws a glaring spotlight on the waning dominance of the U.S. dollar, but also openly challenges the financial hegemony that the United States has wielded for decades. With this unprecedented agreement, these nations aren't just tweaking the norms of international trade, they are hammering at the very pillars of a global economic order, long dictated by the U.S. dollar's might. Criticisms of this move are as rampant as they are fierce, with accusations of undermining global stability and fueling economic polarization. Yet, one cannot help but be intrigued by the audacity and potential repercussions of this decision. Stay with us till the end as we unravel the layers of this controversial pivot, its implications for global finance, and the potential birth of a new economic era. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The recent decision by India and the United Arab Emirates UIUI to conduct their oil trade using the Indian rupee instead of the U.S. dollars is a significant development in international finance and trade. This move, which departs from the long-standing practice of using the U.S. dollar for international oil transactions, is a clear indication of the changing dynamics in global economic relations. For decades, the U.S. dollar has been the dominant currency in global trade. Particularly in the oil industry, this dominance has afforded the United States considerable economic and geopolitical advantages. The dollar's role as the world's primary reserve currency has enabled the U.S. to wield significant influence over international economic policies and financial systems. However, this dominance has also been a source of tension, as some countries have viewed it as an instrument of American economic hegemony. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The decision by India and the UAA to use the rupee for oil trade reflects a growing trend among nations to reduce their reliance on the US dollar. This trend is partly driven by geopolitical considerations as countries seek to assert their economic sovereignty and reduce their vulnerability to US sanctions and financial policies. Additionally, the move is an economic strategy aimed at bolstering the international standing of their own currencies. The BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, have been at the forefront of this push for de-dollarization. These countries have been actively seeking ways to diminish the influence of the U.S. dollar in global trade and to promote their currencies as alternatives. The india Y oil deal is a significant step in this direction and reflects the broader ambitions of the BRICS nations to reshape the international financial order. This shift towards using national currencies in international trade, especially in critical sectors like oil, has far-reaching implications. For one, it challenges the U.S. dollar's position as the world's primary reserve currency. This could potentially lead to a more multipolar currency system, reducing the outsized influence that the U.S. currently enjoys in global financial markets. Moreover, the use of local currencies in international trade could also provide economic benefits to the countries involved. It can reduce transaction costs and exchange rate risks associated with using a third-party currency. For India, conducting oil trades in rupees could help in managing its trade deficit and stabilizing its currency. For the UAI, accepting rupees for oil could open up new markets and investment opportunities in one of the world's fastest-growing economies. The geopolitical implications of this shift are also significant. By moving away from the U.S. dollar, countries like India and the UAR are signaling a desire for greater economic independence and a reconfiguration of global alliances. This move could lead to closer economic ties between the BRICS nations and other emerging economies, potentially altering the balance of power in the international system. DOUAL trade agreement using the Indian rupee instead of the US dollar is a landmark event that signifies a shift in the global financial landscape. It represents the growing confidence of emerging economies in asserting their economic autonomy and reshaping the rules of global trade. This trend continues. It could lead to a more diversified and multipolar global economy, challenging the traditional dominance of the U.S. dollar and ushering in a new era of international economic relations. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. The historical dominance of the U.S. dollar in international trade 
and finance has its roots in the mid-20th century. Post-World War II, the Bretton Woods Conference in 1944 established the dollars as the central currency in global trade, pegged to gold. This system created stability in international financial markets and positioned the U.S. at the center of the global economic order. However, with the collapse of the Bretton Woods system in 1971 and the subsequent move to fiat currencies, the U.S. dollar remained the primary reserve currency due to the size and perceived stability of the U.S. economy. The use of the U.S. dollar in global trade, especially in the oil market, often referred to as petrodollar recycling, has had profound implications for international economics and geopolitics. It has allowed the U.S. to run large current account deficits and exercise considerable influence over global financial institutions such as the International Monetary Fund, IM.V, and the World Bank. Furthermore, the dollar's dominance has given the U.S. significant leverage in enforcing economic sanctions and shaping global economic policies to its advantage. However, the global financial crisis of 2008 and subsequent economic shifts have led to a re-evaluation of this dollar-centric world. Countries, particularly those in the BRICS group, have become increasingly vocal about the need for a more balanced and multipolar global financial system. The efforts of these nations to de-dollarize their economies and promote their currencies for international trade are part of a broader strategy to assert their economic sovereignty and challenge the existing financial order. The BRICS nations, with their growing economic clout, have been exploring various mechanisms to facilitate trade and investment in their local currencies. These include setting up currency swap lines, establishing development banks like the New Development Bank, and launching payment systems that are independent of the U.S. dollar. Such initiatives aim to reduce reliance on the dollar, lower transaction costs, and protect against currency volatility. Diaz moved to conduct its oil trade with the UIA. Ian Rupes is a prime example of these efforts. As one of the world's largest oil importers, India's decision to use its currency for such a significant portion of its international trade has substantial economic and strategic implications. By conducting transactions in rupees, India not only reduces its reliance on foreign exchange reserves, but also promotes the internationalization of its currency. The for the UAE accepting rupees for oil signifies a strategic alignment with one of the fastest growing economies in the world. This move could lead to increased investments and deeper economic ties between the UAE and India. Furthermore, for the UAE part of a region traditionally aligned with the US dollar, Due to its oil exports, this decision marks a significant shift in its economic strategy. The broader implications of such a shift in global trade practices are profound. A move away from dollar-dominated trade could lead to a more diversified global reserve system, reducing the disproportionate influence of the U.S. global financial markets. This could result in a more equitable distribution of economic power, giving emerging economies a greater voice in international financial institutions and decision-making processes. However, the transition to a multipolar currency system is not without challenges. It requires the establishment of robust financial markets and institutions capable of handling the complexities of international trade in multiple currencies. There is also the risk of increased currency volatility and the potential for economic fragmentation as countries navigate this new landscape. The India Way oil trade deal using the rupee instead of the U.S. dollars more than just a bilateral agreement. It is a signifier of the shifting sands in global economics and finance. It reflects a growing desire among emerging economies to play a more prominent role in shaping the international financial system. As these trends continue, they could lead to significant changes in global trade practices, currency markets, and international economic relations. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.